Hi everyone, welcome to Triotech Software Trainings YouTube channel. So today uh, we came up with a very interesting concept that is about mass legal employer change, like how to do mass legal employer change in Oracle Fusion applications. So this is the fundamental need basically in many projects that which we are going to work. Uh, our customer or the client will be asking us to perform the legal employer change in a bulk. So no need to rely upon any HDL or HSDL data loaders in order to perform this uh, legal employer change to the bulk population in the fusion system. Earlier, this option was not available, but later on Oracle given as a separate task where we can perform the legal employer change to the uh, employees in a bulk infusion application. With this respective task, we have several uh, limitations as well as uh, several advantages as well when you approach this respective mass legal employer change task in the system. What are those? Let me explain you. And uh, what are the things that we have to keep in mind basically when we are performing the legal employer change from this respective task because system will not allow the legal employer change in all the situations. There are certain limitations which we should know. So let me go to the slide for that. What are the limitations that we uh, are having? So basically this uh, mass legal employer change process enable you to change the legal employer of multiple workers in a single batch. So it's a batch runner basically when you initiate the process in the system in a bulk for multiple workers you can change the legal employer for that only this mass legal employer change task is available so one thing we have to keep in mind whenever uh, trying to perform this respective task of mass legal employer change one thing everyone should keep in mind is it is recommended to use this process when changing the legal employer within the same country or legislation. Why? Because team, if you use this process to mass change legal employers across the legislation, then that data for salary and payroll will not be copied across. When you are talking about uh, uh, an employee work relationship in the system, I mean, whatever the work relationship that employee having with the legal employer, we should be also, uh, con I mean, uh, taking care of the employee salary and the payroll related aspects also. Like every employee will have their payroll assigned and the respective salary information like elements, uh, the elements associated, balances, etc., banking information, personal payment methods or organization payment methods, right? In. But all these payroll respective setups or the configurations are legislative specific, right? So whenever you are doing the legal employer change to the employee, try to keep in mind, if at all you are doing the change of that legal employer within the same country, what is that? If the second legal employer also from same legislative country, then it would be better. Why? Because salary implications or payroll implications will be there. When you're transferring the employee from India to United States, okay, here in, in India, current work relationship employee having all this all this country respective payroll information assigned. But whereas when you're changing to another country, the legal employer in another country, that country legislative rules, norms, everything will be different. So copying the payroll related information from this legal employer to the second legal employer will be a ch challenge or a problem and the data won't copy until unless if the second legal employer is also from same legislation legislative country then you can initiate this uh, mass legal employer change process team so that is one uh, important point uh, we should keep in mind and then these are the scenarios basically when you cannot perform the mass legal employer change what are those a future dated global transfer or global temporary assignment change exist for an employee so let's suppose now I'm trying to uh, perform mass legal employer change process and I included one employee into that process. 
but for that employee already there is a future dated global transfer transaction initiated in the system or global temporary assignment transaction initiated in the system that person will not be processed in that mass legal employer change whenever a employee have future dated global transfer or global temporary assignment change exist in the system that person will not be considered in the mass legal employer change why because team mass legal employer change and one more thing in fusion application if you are changing the legal employer to the employee that is nothing but global transfer team from one legal employer to another legal employer if you are changing the employee that transaction will be global transfer only so whenever a future dated global transfer already exists to the employee and you are trying to initiate the legal employer change now system will not allow that is one case and then a pending transaction is awaiting approval that involves an assignment change for an employee so currently an employee having some assignmental related uh, transaction initiated it might be uh, employment level change assignment change location change uh, manager add assignment transfer terminate promote whatever it might be any assignment employment related transactions are pending means some hr initiated some transaction to the employee it waiting for the manager to approve so whenever any approvals are in progress to the employee related to the assignment then also that person will not be considered in this particular process of legal employer change we have to complete that transaction what is waiting for him and then you can able to do that particular legal employer change transfer process and then the third scenario will be the work relationship start date of an employee is the same as effective date of the mass legal employer change so whenever you initiating the legal employer change system will ask you from when onwards you are going to change the legal employer of the employee so a specific date is there if let's suppose employee's current work relationship with the legal employer that date and whatever the date you are planning to change the legal employer of the employee both dates are same then system will not allow because if you are doing in the same date employee already working in that work relationship on the same date how we will make the employee to also be part of another work relationship so in that scenario also mass legal employer change will not work for that employee so these are the three scenarios that we have to keep in mind when mass legal employer change we cannot do to the employees and then this is one of the uh, point everyone should keep in mind when we are doing the legal employer change within the same country if both the legal employers are there then fair enough you can initiate this process but across the legislations if your legal employees are located then you you will have a salary and a payroll impact for that employees you have to go and you have to uh, copy the i mean update the salary payroll information separately through this process everything won't get followed by so when you initiating a mass legal employer change team certain employee related information with respect to absence with respect to payroll or uh, compensation goals and performance all these things also from the source assignment will get copied to the new legal employer which we are going to uh, uh, change the employee these things also will be taken care so let me show it in the system how the mass legal employer change in the application can be performed so let me go to the system okay so where we can find that particular task team under my client groups under this particular functional area of my client groups under quick actions you can go to show more okay and then under employment you can find a task available here called mass legal employer change there is a task available here called mass legal employer change go to that respective task of mass legal employer change okay and here we have to create the process click on add button okay when you creating the mass legal employer change process in the system it will ask you select anything else would like to add or change otherwise just click on continue by clicking on continue 
the assignment details everything will be transferred to the i mean will be copied to the new legal employer which we are going to change so along with that any other overriding assignment values any additional changes payroll related information benefits related information also you are expecting to copy from the current work relationship to the work relationship and assignment to the new legal employer work relationship and assignment you can select those particular sections also so when i click on continue these options also will come so that we can also uh, enable whether payroll information you want to copy benefits information you want to copy these all things team so click on continue right and then you have to provide when does that transfer take effect one more thing i want to tell you mass legal employer change or legal employer change in fusion application is nothing but directly or indirectly it is global transfer only right so when does this takes effect let's say from today i am trying to initiate february 2nd on 6th onwards then who is the new legal employer for global transfer so here we have to provide to which legal employer we are going to transfer the employees so i am giving vision corporation legal entity so now i am initiating the legal employer change so this is the new legal employer to which my employees to be changed vision corporation then what is the way that you are changing the legal employer see action will be global transfer by default global transfer will come to you. then the reason for that whatever we have given you can see here the action reasons why you are uh, changing that employees to another organization something like reorganization happen then process name by default with our user id uh, date and with some specific uh, id it will be coming to you. okay that if you want you can give your custom name also any process name when you submitting it description is not required not mandatory you can click on continue and here the second section will be override assignment values so business unit department and location details from the employee as a current assignment you can override here team so currently whoever the employees that i am going to submit in this legal employer change they might be working in some x business unit currently now you want to uh, uh, do a mass legal employer change you are transferring them to uh, vision corporation in that new legal employer to which business unit you are planning to transfer you you can give the respective uh, business unit here let's say i am giving something like gmr motors uk any department or location even this information also you want to uh, override from the current employees assignment when you are doing the global transfer or the legal employer change anything you can provide if required or else if you are keeping blank whatever their current assignments they will be copied as it is in the new legal employer also team click on continue and then additional changes uh, something like uh, which extensible context do you want to copy like we have uh, retain grade is there whatever the grades that employee currently having in the assignment they will also get copied over there and future termination uh, if any employee submitted in their current work relationship okay if they have submitted the resignation or termination with respect to future day even those will be getting updated in the new legal employer where the employee shifting their termination information also will be synchronized there in the new legal employer he will get the termination date added there then any future assignment updations there to the employee in his current work relationship even they will be copied in the new work relationship then compensation information if i select this one whatever the current salary employee have that will be copied to the new assignment whatever the employee is going to move on new legal employer under that assignment the salary also will get copied same our individual compensation details any performance goals and documents are tagged to the employee in the current work relationship even those things also will be copied to the new uh, assignment under the new work relationship you can select in fact what you want what you don't want to copy from current work relationship assignment to new work relationship assignment then payroll module do you want uh, the payroll details to be updated tax reporting unit balance information if you are not touching anything here team whatever the current payroll tru all these information what employee have in the system 
they all will be copied as it is. So I want to change it. You can change accordingly. New payroll information. That all you can give here. Click on continue. Even the benefits related thing also. All the mod uh, modules related things. And here we have to select the people. Who are all the people we are going to perform the mass legal employer change? While you are selecting the people, if you know any employee's name, one by one, if you want to add, you can search with the name, with person number, person name, line manager, hierarchy, all the line manager employees you want, or even legal employer, business unit. Several parameters are there to search the population team. So here I am searching something like a... Uh, 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 any any company that I take, Future Bank. Okay, let's take up team. So currently in this current environment, these are the three people, Anita Kennedy, Kerry Lane, and Philip Banks. These people are currently working in the legal employer called Future Bank US Legal Entity. Now I want all these people to be changed to Vision Corporation. Already here we have given, right? The destination legal employer. What is a new legal employer? Vision Corporation. So currently, these people are working in, in this legal entity or legal employer, sorry. So let's say I'm taking up future bank. So when I select my legal employer, who are all the employees working in this organization of future bank US legal entity? All that people are coming. So I'm selecting them, whoever I want. So, so three people I selected, I click on add. Right. Now you click on continue. Then you will be landing upon the review selected people. So here the last tab is whatever the people you have included in this process. Any employee if you want to remove, you can remove from here. Whatever you included, you want to remove. Select it and delete if you don't want this pro employee to be considered in this one. You can review the selected population here. Now three people I selected. Anita Kennedy, Kerry Lane, Philip Banks. Right. Now I will click on submit. Okay. Now the mass legal employer change for all that people will happen in the system. It's done. Now if you want to check as a HR admin whether that happened or not, I'm going to my client group. Then I'm going to person management. Right. Then I will search with that employee Anita. This is the person, right? So let me go to that person. Okay. Uh, Okay, still, okay, I think of, of from today's date or tomorrow's date it happen. One second, let me refresh. I think it's taking some time to get the changes reflected. CT, CT, Vision Corporation, Global Transfer. See, Anita Kennedy earlier working on future uh, bank us limited now i did the global transfer to her see she transferred to vision corporation with effective of two days date that is february 6 2023 and the action you can see global transfer and her primary assignments whatever are there they all copied here to everything so this is how you can do the mass legal employer change to the employees in the system filter the population for which people you want select all of them add to that particular process and you click on submit button system will do the legal employer change immediately so don't get confused legal employer change is nothing but is nothing but global transfer only in the fusion application so i hope everyone understood how to make use of this functionality of mass legal employer change in the system so if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and share the video. And please do follow our YouTube channel in order to get more videos on Oracle Fusion application. Thank you everyone for watching this video.